child sexual abuse has long been an issue in West Yorkshire. A damning review was released this summer into child sexual exploitation and child safeguarding practices across the Bradford district over the last 17 years, identifying five victims, with the report saying that some children still remain at risk. But a local Member of Parliament is stressing that more needs to be done to reflect the true number of children that have been abused in the area, to look at the handling of child sexual exploitation, reports by Bradford Council, West Yorkshire Police and indeed by other agencies to avoid these crimes happening yet again. Our Yorkshire reporter, Anna Riley, has more. Calls have been renewed for a public inquiry to understand the scale of child sexual exploitation in Bradford over the last 20 years. Keithley and Ilkley Conservative MP Robbie Moore is set to hold an adjournment debate in Parliament to call for a similar inquiry to the Jay report in Rotherham. It comes after a critical review detailing the abuse of five victims in Bradford found some children remain at risk. The independent review was published in July and gave an insight into child sexual exploitation in the Bradford district between 2002 and 2019. It described how four girls and a boy had been sexually abused after being let down by numerous services. The report looked at responses from authorities, including Bradford Council and the police, and it said lessons needed to be learnt. But Robbie Moore feels that this is just the tip of the iceberg. To be frank, a 50-odd page document that only identifies and looks at five children that has been sexually abused um, through uh, grooming gangs over that period of time is not good enough. Uh, and that is why I am calling for a full Rotherham-style inquiry um, that looks at all of this um, horrific crimes, horrific um, experiences that these victims have been put through, um, that goes back, specifically I identifies where there has been failing, so that we can really move forward, hold those agencies to account, and also provide reassurance to victims and their families um, that we are taking this seriously. Well, I think victims feel that um, they are not being listened to enough. Um, I've been contacted by uh, many victims uh, that have, um, have been sexually abused over um, the last 20 years or so, and they feel that the agencies that should be looking after them, and I'm referring to that as the likes of Bradford Council and their Children's Services Department, West Yorkshire Police, our healthcare system, have not been on their side enough and they need to be reinstalled with confidence and have trust in our agencies that are there to protect us. And that's why we absolutely need to get to the, the, the um, uh, have a full understanding of, of what has been going on and um, not shy away from what the um, issues are here. And let's be frank that within the Bradford district and here in Keighley, um, it has been a minority of Pakistani Muslim men that have been targeting uh, young children over that period of time. And it is completely unfair that the Pakistani community is branded with the same accusation. And we must look at what the common denominator is with the, uh, these issues. And um, until we absolutely address that, we cannot move forward. But to do that, we have to tackle the challenges that still exist. And my view is that local leaders are sweeping this issue under the carpet by not getting behind this issue and tackling it head on. Maggie Oliver is a former detective and whistleblower who exposed the notorious Rochdale grooming scandal. And she's in full support of the campaign in Bradford. I 100% believe that without honesty and a real acknowledgement um, and investigation of what is going on, we can't ever begin to address the problems that lead to this. Um, and the, the question is always asked of me that, it, you know, is this because of the ethnicity of the offenders and the ethnicity of the victims? And I always say that I think that is part of the problem, but I also believe that there is most definitely um, a class dynamic to this, that the victims are being blamed. We're failing generations of children, and sadly, it, it isn't getting any better. 
I know Robbie Moore is calling for action to be taken, but, you know, Sarah Champion, who is the MP for Rotherham, um, has been calling for this as well for many years. So this is not a party political issue. This is a national issue which should be cross party. It should not be about scoring points. I am not holding my breath, but any attention that is brought to, to bear on this subject, um, I welcome. And anybody who joins the same, singing off the same hymn sheet as we at the Maggie Oliver Foundation are, it is for me to be welcomed. So I really hope that Parliament listen to Robbie. I really hope that this is given the importance that it needs to receive. And I really hope that we get facts and figures and a full picture um, and then action taken, not just more empty words, proper action to draw a line under this and address it once and for all. Only time will tell if that full report will go ahead and if more victims' voices will be heard. I'm Anna Riley for GB News in Bradford. Such an important report there from Anna and such important voices within it. Uh, we also have a statement from Bradford Councillor, um, Bradford Council via Councillor Susan Hinchcliffe, uh, and Susan said, Bradford has been consistent in the view that a local public inquiry would not be of additional value. We do not believe it would deliver any new learning over and above the many reports that we've already produced on the subject. It is self-evident that victims were let down by all agencies, particularly in that period. No report will ever be enough to put those wrongs done to the victims right. And she continues, However, we do have a track record of supporting victims to find justice through the courts and will always support the police to prosecute those crimes no matter when they happened. Welcome to the GB News YouTube channel. You can watch us live 24 hours a day, catch up on your favourite shows and join in the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and you'll never miss any of our exclusive content.